Hello and welcome to a wee look around Castle Campbell in Dola, Scotland. Now this imposing ruin stands in solemn isolation upon a narrow ridge overlooked by a crescent of the Ojo Hills. Two ravines hem it on either side which, through which thunder the burden of care and the burden of sorrow. Now the oldest part of this stone-built castle was built in the early 15th century. At that time it was called Castle Gloom. Around 1465 it passed through marriage to Colin Campbell, first Earl of Argyll. And this powerful Highland chief needed a secure but impressive lowland seat at the heart of the realm, within easy reach of the main centres of the royal court. Castle Gloom fitted the bill perfectly. In 1489, the Earl changed the name to Castle Campbell, and there the Campbells stayed for the next 200 years until they tired of all those steps and relocated to Argyle's lodging, a fine tower townhouse beside Stirling Castle. Castle Campbell is one of Scotland's best preserved tower house castles. The tower house itself served as a family residence, standing 20 metres high, it dominated the courtyard. The surface access was at ground level, but the main entrance was at first floor level, the norm at this date. Inside were four floors of accommodation, a storage cellar at ground level, a hall on the first floor, and private chambers on the two upper floors. These latter were altered around 1600. Across the courtyard, the Campbells added a two-storey range. On its first floor was the Great Hall, for use as a principal reception and banqueting suite. A withdrawn chamber lay at one end and the court kitchen at the other. Below was a row of vaulted storerooms. In its overall appearance, this range bears a striking resemblance to the Royal Lodging in Stirling Castle, known as the King's Old Building, built for James IV in the 1490s. The Earl would have been a frequent visitor to the Royal Castle and clearly wanted to follow suit. Now the castle was visited by all sorts of important people. They included John Knox, the fiery Protestant preacher in 1556, and Mary Queen of Scots in 1563. The Marquis of Montrose had the place torched in 1645 during his campaign on behalf of Charles I, and Cromwell's Lieutenant General Monk. He did something similar in 1654. The execution of the Eighth Earl in 1661 effectively ended the castle's days as a noble residence.